Hey you guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Tonight I'm attempting another recipe from Hallmark Channel's Countdown to Christmas book. And tonight we are doing Holly Robinson's Pete's Macaroni and Cheese. And this is actually the Patty LaBelle recipe that I am doing. So let's see how it turns out. It's supposed to be really good because I guess the secret is that it has five different cheeses. I've never had a mac and cheese like this, so I'm hoping that it turns out delicious. Let's get started. So the first thing we're doing is, is we're preheating the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. And then we are filling our pot for our macaroni with water. And then we are adding, let's see, a tablespoon, one tablespoon of vegetable oil to the pot of water. And then we're gonna just let it sit and until it boils. You can use any old, you know, macaroni that you find at the grocery store. And this is the butter that I'm using. And the next thing I'm doing is I am uh, greasing the pan because uh, so that mac and cheese doesn't stick to it. So I just used a stick of butter and just ran it along the edges and the bottom of the pan of uh, the dish just like I, you see me doing here. And that worked out perfectly. It did not stick whatsoever. Now we're just going into my fridge and grabbing some of the other ingredients that I'm going to need. Basically all the different cheeses that we're going to add to the casserole. I was able to find all the cheeses in shredded form except for the monster cheese. I could not find that one shredded so um, actually my daughter had some that she had bought from the deli so as you will see in a minute. Oh yeah we use Velveeta cheese also. I grabbed that uh, sliced cheeses she had and I just went ahead and used that. It also called for half and half and two eggs. By this time the water had finally started to boil. It took forever and I went ahead and poured the macaroni, the entire box, in the pot and then I started melting my butter as it said to start doing that after you put you know the macaroni to cook. Then I started adding all my different cheeses. A half a cup of all the cheeses is what it's called for. It called for. So the first one as you're going to see is going to be let's see what was it <laughs> the mild cheddar. So that was like half a cup of mild cheddar. A half a cup of Monterey Jack and I kept checking on my butter I was so nervous about this butter I didn't know if butter could burn but I was so nervous about it I actually turned it down because I'm like this is going really fast and the macaroni is not ready yet so I don't know I was a nervous wreck doing this recipe um, fun fact about me it's really hard for me to follow instructions even though it's right there it tells you step by step what to do I don't know I just feel like I'm gonna miss a step and it makes me so nervous next it's a half a cup of the sharp cheddar and another fun fact about me I have a hard time with my SH's and my CH and I think that is because if you guys don't know another fun fact I am Cuban and I do have an accent so saying sharp cheddar <laughs> see I can't say it crazy crazy the things I can't say back to the butter because it was getting close it was getting close almost there but like I said I was a nervous wreck okay so back see and I'm checking the recipe just to make sure I'm still on track I was thank god and now I'm checking the macaroni to see if they were done and they were almost there <laughs> now we're going to do the eggs it called for two eggs and it said for it to be beaten lightly. So I did that. See the butter? Oh my God. So I turned it down and I think this is when I take it off the burner. Yeah, because I was like, this is going to burn and I'm going to ruin the whole thing. So here we go, beating the two eggs 
lightly. I didn't know what lightly was. I didn't know if I needed to mix it all the way or not. I mixed it all the way because that made the most sense to me. So yeah, and now I had everything ready to go. I And now, yeah, this is a sliced cheese that I had for the monster cheese because I couldn't find it. And then I started shredding it and then I'm like, oh my God, I'm not following the instructions. I didn't measure it. So I started putting it in the cup and that, you know, at the end of the day, it's cheese. A little more, a little less, it doesn't matter. It's all, you know, now that I know how to make it, I can probably make it again so much easier because now I know what to expect, what I'm looking for. So I can make this entire recipe without following the instructions. Again, it's really simple, but because I had to follow the instructions at first, I was really, really nervous. And it's finally done right here. And now it's time to put it all together, you guys. So just like any pasta, we're going to drain it and then we're going to put it back in the pot. It didn't say to run water, cold water or anything to stop the cooking process at all. It just said drain and then put it back in pot. And then after that, I'm just going to go back to the stove and start adding all the cheeses and the half and half and the eggs. We're going to start off with the melted butter. then the half and half and for that it was let's see uh two cups of half and half that was eight ounces of butter by the way two eggs and then it said to add um the cheese but leave about half a cup to pour on top of the mac and cheese before you put it in the oven. Then it said to add one quarter teaspoon, one eighth freshly ground pepper. No, I didn't measure this because it was to taste based. The instruction said add to taste. That was just her recommendation. And it seemed like I was adding a lot, but at the end of the day, you guys, if you know anything about pasta, pasta needs salt but it wasn't super salty and i almost forgot the Velveeta cheese you guys i almost forgot it i could not believe it so when i remembered i was like oh my god so i went ahead and added it and then started stirring the entire thing mixing it all together and yeah we're almost there you guys so the question for this video is what is your favorite pasta dish to make leave it in the comments below as you guys know to be entered in the giveaway you have to comment and like every single video during vlogmas and you have to be subscribed to the channel so make sure you go back and watch all the videos if you haven't done so already okay so now it's time to put the entire thing in my baking dish and it fits perfectly so I was really happy about that because I wasn't sure it was going to fit. So this is the remaining rem remainder of the cheese that they said to leave out. And I just sprinkled it on top as so. It also said to add some butter, one tablespoon of butter to the top. So that's what I did here. I cut off a tablespoon and just cut it in a triangle or whatever that is. And just placed it on top, put it in the oven and um it cooked for about 30 minutes and spoiler alert again it came out so good you guys so good it was delicious i would do it again even my husband who does not like pasta that is one of his least favorite dishes he loved it. He enjoyed it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember again to give it a thumbs up and to comment below. I'll see you guys again in a brand new video tomorrow.